I'm Chris Brooks, owner of Big Fish and Custom Tackle, and uh, I live here in Freeland, and I really enjoy fishing. I like coming down to talk to you guys, and I want to talk to you about uh, what's been the hot setup lately and where I can go out and catch some king salmon because the season's been pretty hot this year. Uh, for honorable mention, I'll talk about downriggers. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan about fishing with downriggers, but I did get a fish off one this year, so I figure I should probably share that with you guys. <laughs> This is uh, this is a hot spot flasher. This is the hot color right here. Is this green and chartreuse with the prism tape? It's also got the ultraviolet tape on the back with a glow strip. Uh, they have these down today, so they're running about 14 bucks. Uh, there's also another one that's similar to this that has a blue stripe that's also been successful. Um, you've got your standby flasher, which is the green hot spot flasher. Probably everybody has one of these in their tackle box. I would imagine this has been like the go-to for a zillion years. This works also. This variation right here, blue with the prism tape, this is also successful. Uh, I like to go with the greens and the blues. Uh, ultraviolet stuff's been really popular. It seems to be, it seems to be kind of the go-to thing. Uh, this is the ultraviolet needle squid that they make. Uh, Gold Star makes these silver hoard. You can find these at Ace and a lot of the uh, sporting goods stores around. And the thing that sets these apart from the other hoochie skirts is the size of it, is the profile. It's narrow. These fish are out there feeding on candlefish right now. They're not feeding on herring like a lot of people would think because there's just not a lot of herring out there. I mean, there's some out there, but it's not like it used to be. They're mostly feeding on candlefish. Uh, all the kings that I've got this year were absolutely gorged full of candlefish. So, this setup right here, 41 inches behind it with this ultraviolet needle squid. If I'm trolling, this is what I'm going to be using and probably nothing else. Um, also, another successful lure is the ultraviolet uh, coho killer. Uh, I like the whites. I think it gives the best flash in the water to the fish. I just have had the most success off of these ones. There's also a spatterback one, a, a green and blue spatterback one, which is popular. There's a cookies and cream pattern, which is really popular also. But if it was me for my money, I'm going with the ultraviolet. And like I said, it's about the narrow profile. You're tricking these guys into biting this because their 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 main forage, like I said right now, is candle fishing. So you wanna you wanna match the hatch as they say. So um, are you saying this particular setup right now in this time frame, mm -hmm. or is this is what you would do every year in this time frame? This is what I would use every time when I'm going king fishing. Whether, if I was out black mouth fishing in the winter, I'd be using this same setup. But this has been really popular. These flashers right here, this style of flasher with the glow tape, this has kind of come on in the past couple of years. They've gotten a little fancier with them. Like I said, for years and years and years, it's always just been this one. And, uh, and I've used this and had success in the past, but this has been hot. This is what a lot of the local, I call them local for pros, because there's a lot of guys around here that have been fishing for a zillion years and know whose water is better than I do and better than most of us. And so this is what, like I said, a lot of the local pros are using is this style of flasher with this kind of color scheme going on it. Um, so that's kind of all I want to touch on the downrange.